Welcome back, Sethling here. And today I've got another Mario Maker level to show you. This one is called Six Shells. So let's load it up. Uh, this is one of the levels that I made in a recent live stream. The basic idea of the level is that you need to go throughout the level and collect six beetle shells and use them to break the blocks here at the beginning of the level and you can run to the end of the level. So it's sort of like a little scavenger hunt. Uh, now, this level's not like super hard or super complicated, but it's got some d cool design elements that I want to talk about. Sort of use this as a platform to talk about game design. So you have to use the shells in order to get through the level, but one of the cool things you can do is you can kind of use them to clear the level. Since you're actually going to have to go kind of through the level and back a couple times, it's worth clearing out the enemies rather than uh, rather than just running past them, you know, like a normal platformer level. So there you can see I, I got rid of the first block and there was a little um, kind of confetti popped out of the, uh, of the thing there. So we kind of have to explore the level to find all the shells. Uh, you can kind of figure out where shells might be because they're kind of guarded by other enemies. Uh, and so one, one of the really cool things that I, I like about this level is the use of special effects. Whenever you hit one of those blocks with a Koopa in it, or sorry, a Beetle in it, uh, it's it plays like a little light bulb effect and, and um, a sound. Uh, and then there's another effect. You can hear it there. Uh, whenever you Whenever you toss the shell down to break a block, there's another effect that plays. And it was the confetti effect, but it also makes a cheering sound. And there's that has a couple effects. One is to show you, yes, you're completing the objective of the level. In case you were unsure what the objective was, it is to get through those six blocks. But also, if you hit it from far away, like I just did, then it's an indicator that you actually did break the block, even if you aren't able to visually inspect it and see for sure that that was what happened. I think I'm actually going to try and go up and over. There's like a couple routes through the level. Uh, this is more of a freeform level. It's, it's more about just exploring and finding everything than than just making it through. Uh, eh, okay. Well, I'll just go through here anyway. Um, <laughs> oh no. Okay. Whew. Man, how did this guy get all the way over here? So, so far we have found four of the six. So let's go up. There are kind of like three in the top path, three in the bottom path. And there's actually multiple ways to get around the level. Um, actually, like from down below, you can even jump up here. Uh, if you do the jump right. These guys are just sort of like a little obstacle. They're each guarding their own little platform. Uh, this question mark box here is actually... Oh, whoops. It's okay. It's not that hard to get back up, like I said. You can kind of do that. Uh, this question mark box here is actually kind of an obstacle. If you jump straight into it, and I'll actually just demonstrate. It's easy. It's Well, I guess it's very easy to like hit it and fall down into the pit there and get hit by the muncher. But you do get a, a, a leaf there. Uh... And so if you fall down, it actually becomes easier to get back up. Well, if you keep the leaf. <laughs> anyway, all right, so let's see. This is the fifth of six shells I need, but I just lost it. <laughs> I accidentally killed a spike, spike Top with it. Um, that's not what I meant to do, but that's okay, and I'll show you why. There are only six shells, um, like, kind of in the level, except at the end, there is a reservoir of extra shells. And this is kind of one of my design principles, is that you should never be, like, stuck in a level. That you should never have, uh, you should never have to, like, start the level over because you messed up something. And so, consequently, oops, well, that's not good. Uh, consequently, at the end here, there is actually a pipe that dispenses shells, but it's sort of guarded by a little mini-boss. Uh, okay, let's hit him. Yeah, so if you hit it, if you hit this guy three times, he'll die. Um, and so there's, so this pipe gives you all the ammo you need to do that. Uh, you can also, if you stand underneath the pipe, uh, if you stand underneath the pipe, you can use, uh, you can kind of get it as a helmet. I'm a little bit low on time, uh, but this is the last shell I need. Let's try not to lose it on these uh, spike tops again. Uh, unfortunately, I just kind of have to wait here. Until, yeah, I, yeah, just kind of have to wait. I, don't, I really don't want to lose this shell and have to go back. Although, at this point, I've defeated the boss, and I can 
I could go back and grab another shell pretty much for free. So this is the last shell I needed. Um, if you were big Mario, you could use the muncher on the left side here uh, to become smaller and actually fit through this gap. Anyway, once you've done that, I'm actually pr running, running pretty low on time, so it is a little bit of a fight against the clock. You can just run right through to the end of the level. So, yeah, a couple things I want to mention here about the design here. Uh, one is, well, the level is called Six Shells, but that doesn't mean everybody can instantly just kind of understand what they're supposed to do. Even if you see all this stuff over here, you might not figure out that you need to break through all this stuff to get to the end of the level. You might think, well, maybe that's one one path that I could take, but I'll just like go through the level normally. So if you do proceed through the level normally, what you'll, what you'll end up here is at this little boss area. Because this is, this is really the, the only other kind of terminus of the level. And so let's say you do end up here and you haven't figured out the shell theme of the level. Oops, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's say you do end up here. Um, I wanted to make sure that there was a way to figure out that, that you did something wrong. And so let's come over here. I'm actually just going to run past this guy. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Uh, if you come down here, you might think, okay, this is how I get out. But you can see it's not. And you can see that there is an end of the level here. Uh, and that there's a path that gets there, uh, and there's a vine back out. And so at this point, what just... Did he just die on his own? I have no idea why that... why the Bowser Jr. just died there. But anyway, you can kind of come back down here and see, oh, I see, there's another path through the level that I, that I was supposed to take. And then, if you go back to the beginning of the level, as you're exploring, because um, you can see that the path, you know, you can walk along this whole path, you can see it comes back to the beginning of the level, and that you have to get through here, and then you might connect the, the dots and, and figure out the six shells thing. So it's sort of like multiple different ways to discover what the point of the level is. You can read the title, you can just look and inspect these things and see the, you know, the effects that you get from the boxes, that, uh, that light bulb effect that you can get, um, that sort of thing. Oop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that the light bulb effect, uh, which I I actually really like that they added the effect to the game. I think I think that there's like lots of uses for them beyond just like having dance parties with a, that one dance party effect. Man, this is not gonna kill him the chain shot. There we go. <laughs> uh, and I, I really like that you get to reward the player not just with a block block break, but just kind of like a celebratory sound. I think it's also nice feedback for the player. Um, so just sort of like, this is a cool level to demonstrate some cool design principles for a very non-standard type of level. Sort of more of a scavenger hunt. So I really wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, so if you want to try the level for yourself, as always, the code is on the screen. And you can just go try it on the, you know, in the game if you have it. And once you try the level, of course, all of my other levels are kind of linked from that one level. So go try it out if you have the game. Otherwise, don't, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.